Today, I want to teach you the law of righteousness. So righteousness is a gift. If you believe in God, automatically you are righteous. So once you believe, the gift must come be given to you. So righteousness is a gift. Before you have it, you must believe. If you believe from your heart, you must grow in it. You know, once you have been given this grace of righteousness, you have to grow it. Say that you grow it or you destroy it. Without righteousness, grace cannot work. The law of righteousness. Like in my definition, I said righteousness is doing what is right when no one is seeing you so you must learn to practice righteousness you learn it you practice it christianity is a lifestyle you practice it you learn it you must learn it you learn to live the status quo of our lord and savior jesus christ righteousness righteousness is following jesus christ following him you follow him. That is righteousness. You must learn to practice righteousness. Anyone that is righteous is following Jesus Christ. And you can never walk in darkness. So patience is a part of righteousness. You cannot practice righteousness without patience. You must learn to also have exercise patience at a point. You must learn to believe in Jesus and for you to believe in Jesus, most times, you must learn to be patient. Godliness is living your day-to-day -day life with Jesus. You must learn to win a soul. You must learn to be in the house of God. You cannot be sitting at home and you, are, you call yourself a Christian on a Sunday. It doesn't work like that. You must go to church. You must be in church. And when you are in church, you sit down, you listen. You are here to learn. Many of you come to church and while you are in church, that is when you are busy. Devils work on you to be busy with your phone. You are on Facebook. You are on YouTube. You are on TikTok. You are sending unnecessary messages. You are interacting with people and you are here for something. So devils are derailing you to steal your blessings away from you. So you must learn to practice righteousness by doing godliness you must be you must practice godliness it's a day-to-day -day life in the way you dress in the way you talk in what you do in where you live people around must know that this person is a god-fearing person being god-fearing is godliness you must practice godliness you cannot be in church you are an angel and back at home you are a demon it doesn't work like that so practicing righteousness is practicing godliness. You must learn godliness. You learn it in what you wear, what you say, the places you go to. You must practice self-control enough to be godly. Christianity is a lifestyle, right? You ought to learn it. You learn it. You cannot just say, I'm a Christian. No. You learn it. You learn it you learn it right there's what god has given to you they call it free will free will your ability to make decisions you can choose to do whatever you please whatever you want to do yes it is god that gave you free will but the same god gave you self-control which is self-discipline because there is judgment there is judgment god will hold you accountable for the rubbish you do now practice self-control practice godliness there are places you cannot go there are things you cannot do you must practice godliness some of you you are taking drugs you, you are addicted to drugs confess it come to church confess it some of you you are addicted to fornication you 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 it's what they call dog spirit. It's troubling you and, and you are hiding it. You are destroying yourself. The best way to defeat the devil is to confess it. Confess. Come to church, meet the pastors and confess. Some of you, you are addicted to gambling. Gambling. Your problem is gambling. Why you are here now, you have been gambling. It's the truth. There are some of you, as you are here, you are playing gambling. You are betting. It's madness will destroy you. It's one of these wise of the devil that devil has brought to destroy us. It's an art of the devil. You need self-control to say, no! 
to where am I pastor? Vishwa, right? Vishwa. Vishwa, customers. You know, some of us don't know these things. But this young generation of car, they, they, they are, their own time is even worse. So your child can be with you in your own house and he's playing gamble. He's even using your money to play gamble in your own house. You will not know. You see him jumping up, he has won. You see him sad, they've won him. And they will always be winning him. Sometimes you see him shouting anyhow, he has lost all the money. Practice godliness. Stop these things. Stop. It's only a fool that does not remember death. So you must practice godliness. We discover that 90% of Christians don't practice godliness. Hence, you see somebody is a worker in church, a leader in church, and he's a thief. He's even stealing from the church because he does not know God. We discover there are a lot of Christians that love God. They love God. They love God. In short, they can die for God, but they don't know God. Knowing God is practicing righteousness. You practice it. You learn it. Am I still talking to someone? Oh, you're all sleeping now. Hope I'm not offending you. But if you feel offended, happy are you. So I said godliness. And to godliness is brotherly kindness. Brotherly kindness is uh, being good to people. But especially to your brothers. Who are your brothers? The Bible said brotherly kindness are being kind to your co-Christians. Your brethren in church, be kind to them. That's what he's saying. He said, Do good to all men, especially the one in the house of faith. Especially the, your brethren in church. Be nice to everybody, but your brethren in church, help them if you can. So if you want to help anybody, starts in church here. That is the brotherly kindness, right? Let me break it to you today. And to brotherly kindness is love. Love, which is uh charity right a christian's life is beyond this life time your life as a christian is beyond these cars houses children it's your life as a christian is beyond what you are seeing now it's beyond this life so if you are a christian and you are living all your life for the now you are getting it all wrong our life as christian goes beyond this lifetime to the next life in short our life is even more in the next lifetime which is heaven so if you are a christian and you are living your life for the now it's wrong okay one of the problems we have as christians that devil uses to fight us in the race of practicing righteousness is unforgiveness unforgiveness if you can practice righteousness there are a lot of blessings that will follow because of time. Unforgiveness is what the devil used to fight righteous people. And they don't know. That is the weapon devils have been using to destroy you. Unforgiveness. You, if you practice righteousness and you are not practicing forgiveness, all your righteousness is in vain. Devils can still beat you. What is unforgiveness? Somebody dupes you, you forgive. Somebody stole your shoe. Forgive. You forgive. Jesus Christ said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they do.